Okay, welcome. In this lab, we're looking at how to use GCAT and how to create a CNC server using Gmail. It's pretty straightforward, but all of this is used for educational purposes only. And yeah. All right, so first thing I did was I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in GCAT. And I'm looking for, I'm sorry, GCAT space GitHub. I'm looking for this one right here. And you can download it or you can uh, get the URL. I'm going to get the URL and go to my Kali machine. Get clone. I always do that git git clone. Let it go ahead and unpack everything. And you should be able to go to your directories and you should have a GCAT. So the important ones here is we need to look at GCAT and implant PY. PY is because these are going to be Python scripts, but those are what you're going to need. All right, next, let's go ahead and open both the uh, GCAT. And what we're looking for is this right here. Under the Gmail account, we want to change it to our Gmail account. It's not case sensitive, but for the username, it is case sensitive for the password. Server and server port should stay the same. So I want to point something out. Uh, what I ended up doing for this was I did create a brand new Gmail account. And just for this particular lab. So I would, if you're doing this, uh, I again, I would probably do the same thing. Make a separate email account just for this. Go ahead and save it. Let's go to implant, same thing. Go to the Gmail settings. Change the appropriate password to your password. Save it. And so that part of the configuration is taken care of. Okay, so before we move forward, we have to talk about a few more things. So first in Gmail, we need to turn on less secure apps. So what I did was I just Googled, <laughs> how do I uh, allow less secure apps? And we want to turn this on. We need this so that our GCAT can actually email us the appropriate files that we need. So once that's turned on, you're good. So in Kali, we can do this several different ways. We can use things like Velovasion. We can convert the uh, PY to a uh, EXE. So lots of different ways. So that's the next part of this video. OK, so we're going to be using Velovasion, but we need to actually go find it. So Google Velovasion or Velovasion GitHub. And here we go. I want to be able to get the hub for it. So GIT clone. Let it download because in this portion, we're going to be distributing our Python script via Velovasion as opposed to an exe. So the download should take a little while. So just let it install. Apparently it's finished right already. So once it's done that, let's go ahead and do an ls. You should have a Velovasion folder. So change directory into into it. Remember it is case sensitive, Velovasion. Do an ls again. Here we have our Python script and we have the additional tools. 
let's go ahead and get into our Belly Evasion Python script. We need to actually install Velivation. So what we're gonna have to do is ls. Because if we go to run just our Velivation Python script, we can also try running it in Python. It doesn't like that. It wants us to do our setup for it first. So that's what I'm gonna do bash root relevation setup setup sh i have an s that way we can do a silent install of it so pretty much wait a second it will install everything that it needs because we'll be doing a silent install it will install the package it will do it in silent mode it will Add the architectures for wine and install the binaries. So for this, just be patient. It does take a few minutes. So once you let it, uh, it once you get it started again, just let it do its thing. So while we're installing our Velivation, you should get the Python 2.75 setup. If you don't, then we're gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to remove. Uh, Velivation, we're gonna have to re add it. So I did get this, so I'm gonna go ahead and run through it. All of the defaults should be fine for what we're doing. And again, let it run through the rest of the process. You're gonna get a few prompts, and that's okay. We're gonna be setting up our PWIN. Converter. We're going to be setting up our PY crypto as well. It should finish doing all of the appropriate compiling and other items. We should get a few errors when we're all finished, which that is okay. We're going to be setting up Ruby. We're gonna leave all of those defaults. And it should almost be done. Okay, so if you go to run and you have any issues, remove vel with that command, rerun the setup with this command. If you did not get the prompts to install Python, uh, PyWin, PyCrypto, Ruby, rerun this. Remember, you can't just rerun this. You have to run this one first. This removes the configuration for wine and vel, and then this redoes it. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and let's get into vel evasion. So change directories, vel ls. We want to go ahead and python vel evasion.py. That gets us into this. First thing I want to do when I'm here ls let's see all of our options i'm going to be using a auxiliary python wrapper number three but i mean you can do different interpreter shells you can do some shell codes you have powershell some python so for me i want number three notice python source is not set so i want to go ahead and change that set Python source, it's on the root, it's on desktop, it's called implement.py, and I'm going to have it generate. I'm going to call mine payload. I'm going to use the default py installer. 
I'm going to give it a minute, let it do its thing. All right, once it's done that, it has been successfully created. It should be in that folder path. It is. Well, apparently it does not like that, so. I actually want to enter the location, so I'm going to go to my lines, hit enter location. And there is my payload exe. So I was able to do that with py installer automatically in Kali. My other videos, we had to use py installer also in Kali. I also did a video for py2exe in Windows. So this just made it a little bit easier. So I want to turn, and here I'll go back to my Velivation. All right, so let's take, take our payload. Let's move it over to a Windows machine or a victim machine. Let's go ahead and run it. And once it is ran, it should contact the server, and there it is. That's this guy right here. We had this person, or this uh, guy as an EXC contact, so we know that it ran. So let's double check that it actually worked. LS get to gcat let's run gcat so python gcat.py first thing i want to do is i actually want it to list commands so or sorry, list my listeners. And there it is. I can do things like screenshot. But again, it won't actually go through because I have to give it its ID. So let's do that again, space hyphen ID space Give it the ID, and it will send the command and the job ID to the victim. And again, the CNC server will actually show there's the job. It's telling it to do, do, do the command screenshot. we can actually look at the job ID to see if it took it or not. Oh, all right. Let's go back. You still have to give it the ID. Job ID. And there we go. Let's see if it actually took the screenshot. I want to enter the location. Oh, let's try that again, enter location. All right, apparently it did not like that. Let's go ahead and search for the file. 
It did not like that. My Cali is getting kind of angry. Nice thing is, it saved it on the CNC server. So that is actually how we use Gmail as a CNC server, distributing it through Velovasion, using Velovasion to do our Python conversion. And yeah, thank you.